back to the incredible channel today i'll be showing my personal water healing loadout now i say that this healing loadout is more for people who are experienced with healing um it's pretty tricky but it definitely works like it works for me well uh, this is my favorite loadout to use with this power so far i've used it in I've used it in um, JFA Elite yesterday. It went, pr it went fairly well. It, it's a tricky loadout, and I'm going to show you why it's a tricky loadout, but it's very effective if you know how to use it the right way. So let's just show you the moves real quick first before we do anything. First move is Bubble, Mending Wave, Soothing Mist, Solace of the Seas, Riptide, and Tempest Guard. Now, you know, of course it doesn't matter which order you put them in. You can put them in any order that feels right for you when you're using your controller. But the whole key to this loadout is this move right here, this Riptide. Riptide, because it takes away whatever the previous move you used, it takes the cooldown completely away. So what I usually do, I usually always either have a shield up at all times, and if everything's going smoothly, I'll just put up two sources of the seas. So usually I always have source of the sea up and I usually pop my eight and then have the eight ready. So then you know I'm making sure I see what's going on, you know, in the raid, anybody getting hurt. Use that for the four man heal. Use that for whoever's getting wrecked, and then I'll pop that like that. But basically I always usually have a shield ready. Like it's like it's like basically constant shields up at all times because I'm always using that riptide to keep one shield in the back pocket so I have this up you know healing and stuff like that let's say I have that shield up right now and then I just pop that for the eight man and keep it up you know watching everybody's health go up you know put another one up always keep this up and then I just keep rotating through my shields. That's basically all it is, is rotating through shields at all times. Every time a shield goes down, I have the other shield up. Usually I'm always having the eight man shield in the back pocket. The four man shield, which is the bubble, the bubble is really good too, but usually I always have the four man shield. The only reason why people probably say that this is tricky is because it doesn't use a supercharge. But for some rotations that I use with uh, different characters, sometimes I don't even use superchargers. I'm, sometimes it's just, you just don't need it. But yeah. And if everything's going really smooth in the raid, let's say like you're, on, like you're going against just one boss, or just every everything's just going really smooth, or there's two healers, and you don't really need to do much, that's when you just pop a Solace of the Seas, and then you just pop another Solace of the Seas. <laughs> and you just have two ticks of health being regenerated through the whole thing you know pop your shields when when useful and just do it like that that's how i do it man it's this is really a, a really really good loadout this is a really good loadout at least for me personally i love this loadout and it, it's pretty op from what i've been doing with it lately so ch try it out i, I would suggest People who are really good at healing, you know, experts at that that are experts at healing, just try this loadout out. Tell me what you think about it. Give me some feedback on it, and just leave your comments and just let me know what you think. This is the Incredible Channel, and I'm out.